Now in this lesson we do some work on the surface area of cubes and cuboids. Now the surface area of a solid is the sum of the area of its faces. Now let's look at a couple of examples. We need to find the surface area of this in this first instance a cube. All right, you can see that we have a cuboid there but all the sides are the same. So it is a cube. Let's consider the area of this front face. Well, the length is 5, the breadth is 5, so the area, 5 times 5, is 25 square centimetres. We are asked to find the surface area, so SA for short, surface area. Well, in this cube, each of the faces are identical, and there are six of them. So if each face is 25 square centimetres, then the surface area is six lots of 25 and that works out to be 150 and we write square centimeters because we are finding an area okay the surface area our second example now we need to find the surface area of this cuboid okay or rectangular prism now let's consider the front here the face what area has it got well it's a rectangle so length is 8 breadth is 3 so 8 times 3 gives an area of 24 square centimeters. Now though, not all of the sides are the same, are they? Okay, all the faces are not the same. So we need to work out the other faces as well. Let's consider this side here. Again, a rectangle, 5 by 3. So we multiply and get an area of 15 square centimeters. What about the top now? Look at the dimensions carefully around the diagram. 8 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Okay, 8 by 5 gives an area of 40 square centimeters. So once we've identified the three different faces we're dealing with, let's calculate the surface area. So surface area equals, there's our front face. Looking carefully though, 24 square centimeters, the back would be exactly the same, wouldn't it? Okay, identical. So in fact, we have two lots of 24. Now this side is 15 square centimetres, directly opposite that would be again the same. So we have two lots of 15 which we're going to add. Finally we worked out the top to be 40 square centimetres but looking down at the base that would be the same as well. So we have two lots of that 40. Now, we put that in on the calculator, okay, making sure we're very careful, press equals at the very end. We come up with 158, and again, what units are we dealing with? Square centimetres, okay, we're dealing with area. Excellent. All right, well, that concludes the lesson. A fairly simple idea is surface area. The only problem people have is when they forget to include some sides, okay, so make sure that you include all the sides, you add up the sum of all the faces.